Heather Walter from Paul Mitchell and today we're going to do a little rehab on this blonde hair. So as you can tell, she has a substantial amount of gray and her gray is kind of what I call angry gray. It's very resistant. It's hard to cover. Um, she has a coarser, drier texture of hair by nature and so we're going to cover her gray. We also have a little bit of banding through here for some old color applications and some overlap. So we'll get rid of that banding and brighten up a little bit of her blonde around her face and kind of make her a beautiful bronze today. So we're gonna get started on Alicia. We're gonna use the new Cover Smart series in the gold uh, that just came out from John Paul Mitchell Systems. And that is one of our gray coverage series for resistant or hard to cover gray in a beautiful golden tone, which will really play in great with our bronze canvas. So let's get started. An up close look at her canvas clearly shows that she is 50% or more gray. You also can see that her last color application did not give her solid opaque coverage. It was more of a blend and left an off tone. After that, she has an overlapped area and then porous ends. We have all of Alicia's formulas mixed up. So we did a 5.5 NG and a 7.7 NG equal parts, which will create a beautiful six level ish base and give us great, great coverage. Then for her band removal, I'll go in with a little bit of skylights. The glide from this clay lightener makes it really easy to apply and Alicia has a lot of hair and it'll allow me to be able to put in some highlights quickly and kind of stay on pace. And then for her round, her face framing area so we can get a little bit of a soft money piece in there, I went with Synchro Lift Soft and 10 volume. That'll really show sensitivity to that more fragile hairline area, but give us a bright pop piece. To get Alicia's color transformation started, I am utilizing Synchro Lift Soft in 10 volume for my face framing highlights. On her regrowth in between the foils, I am placing equal parts of the 5.5 NG and the 7.7 NG at her regrowth. This will give us a beautiful face framing highlight and still show sensitivity to the hairline hair. As I transition to the sides and back, I'll start to utilize the Skylights for band removal. The Skylights is a clay-based lightener and has a lot of glide. It makes it really easy to paint through the hair. I'll apply our formula for gray coverage at the regrowth on each and every section, and then every other section, I will glide the skylights through to break up any of those old bands that were living there, and it's gentle enough to not overly process her hair or dry it out. Skylights is one of my favorite lighteners for color correction scenarios, as well as hand painting and balayage looks. It's a very versatile lightener, and it's very artist-friendly in terms of its ease of spreadability on the hair shaft, which makes applications for color corrections a dream. And this is our processing picture. It is definitely a heavy metal application, but all of these foils and all of this love will give her a beautiful golden base with butterscotch and honey highlights, exactly what she was looking for. Now that all of our lightening work is done, it's time to refine. I'm applying 7NB in the Demi, which is part of our natural beige series. It'll be a beautiful reflective shine and really play off these golden tones that we're looking for. I'll apply that to everything except for her face framing highlights. On her face framing highlights, we'll do a 9NB and keep that light and bright. This is our finished end result and what a change she experienced today in the salon. She has beautiful face framing highlights, a really nice golden brown base with some butterscotch and honey highlights. She ha doesn't have any of the old banding that was there and she's been completely refreshed. We got 100% opaque gray coverage from the new Cover Smart series and she looks beautiful.